Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 60 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time to continue our run of more greed mode, huh, runs, that's a redundant sentence by the way. But we're very close to getting Holy Mantle on the Lost. I think I'll have maybe around 20 more coins to do it, so we're good to go. Our seed is Z3B2FH8. Alright. Don't know why I was struggling with saying that, because it sounded like 8 and H are so similar to each other. Ringworm. Not worth it, in, in my humble opinion. So yeah, we'll be going that route. Getting a free HP upgrade is not too bad. Could have done with a little bit better, but life goes on. Nothing here is that spectacular right from the get-go. Oh, I forgot to pop this. Okay, so remember, we don't need to worry about playing card in the sun ever again because we got that in the last episode. Spoilers, by the way. But yeah, we finally got that little monkey off our back, and you all got a chance to watch it happen. Wow, that was a dumb hit on my part. He just decided to shoot at the very moment I was walking right next to him, because that's how logic works. <laughs> I mean, you'd do the same thing, too, if you had, like, uh, your head cut off, and was just squirting in, like, spears. Spears, I mean, like, circles, not those pointy things. <laughs> yeah, let's move on here. So, we got very little left to accomplish. I mean, we still got another character to unlock, but that's going to be another long while anyway. Depending on if we're lucky enough to get the glowing hourglass to show up. But if we can do that, then we can facilitate some awesome stuff happening. Maybe get Keeper unlocked in this episode, if we manage to find the glowing hourglass, which we haven't been able to do in greed mode yet. I don't think it's ever happened once in greed mode, but in other runs, yes. Like, non-greed mode. But, oh well. It happens. Should buy a key first. I'm a little slow, but that's not surprising. Uh, yeah, fine. We'll take the Shielded Tears. Not exactly the best thing you want to have if you got, like, a low tier stat. I guess we can try the D7 once. No, that's a D8. Never mind. Oh, my damage dropped way fast. So I guess we'll... I guess we should give the D8 another chance? We should probably keep using it until we know our stats are good. And then we don't need it ever again. Should buy one more key to open this uh, gold chest over here. And that's the Magician. Guess I'll pop that right away. So yeah, our damage is going to tank because of this, but we'll do our best with it right now. God, it's taking so long just to kill these mini haunts. That's ridiculous. So as long as they all stay away from me, that's fine. Oh my god, we're not even going to be able to finish this way by the time I take out two of these. Okay, we might be able to. Okay, there we go. But man, we're way behind the eight ball right now. Another haunt? Are you serious? A fight so nice, you gotta do it twice. Oh, this is ridiculous, guys. The DA did not work for me at all. It really worked against me here. And I don't have much else in terms of stats. I mean, what is it, like, base stats I'm on right now? They just got shuffled into something worse? How does a haunt hit you before it even, like, gets over there? Like, that's, that's kind of unfair, don't you think? God, they overlap each other. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening. Because one of them could be firing the brimstone, the other one could just be firing the uh, five-way. And I can't really tell what's happening. I can only see the one in front. I feel like something bad's going to happen. Like, this run might just collapse upon itself. Oh, my God. That's the bullshit I was worried about. I got to get some separation between these two. And it's not working out for me. Figured I'd give that a try. Not exactly the best laid out plan, but... Oh, come on now. Work with me here. Okay, one's dead. But I'm in very dire straits at this point. 
I'm very tempted to just buy a red heart if there's one available. Because this is scary. Alright, we're gonna lose the magician, but that's fine. I mean, we get, we gotta do this. I mean, let's be honest. There's no other way around it. The reason why I'm still attempting the Devil Wave is because we got enough Red Hearts to facilitate a pretty good deal. If, you know, we live long enough to use it. We might die here, actually. I, I like that we shoot fast. It's just that our shots are not very powerful. So we really need a good roll from our D8. Even if our tier stat drops... For our speed drops, I'd like to be able to shoot a little bit stronger. Because that'll make a world of difference for me. If you can at least try to destroy the jars, I'd be thankful for that at least. My shots don't even have any knockback. That's ridiculous. Okay, we did it. Okay, we... The rest of this should be easy, because remember, I got the shield of tears. So we should be, we should be just fine now. Alright. Thank God there was no Krampus, but my God, that did not help me either. Our D8 should be fully charged by the time we go to the next floor, which is nice. Uh, I guess we're better off using the key for the next floor rather than that gold chest in the curse room. It's kind of shitty right now, but it could change into something better later if we just hold on long enough. That did not even explode, really? Huh. Alright, let's see what we get now. Our damage is still pretty bad. And our tier stat dropped a little, too. Well, the coin purse could actually make it or break it for us. Full health, that's helpful. Relax. Not exactly that helpful, but there could be some money in here. Our bread hearts, that's fine too. 48 hour energy, so I can do this again. And bad gas. Okay. I think the damage is a little bit better. Now the body, really? I'm thankful for it nonetheless, but that's a little excessive at this point. I guess we'll play this Demon Judgment right here. Guess now I don't feel so bad about grabbing the body. Bombs are key! That's useless, because I got zero of both. Another new pill. Range down? Ugh. Well, looks like my range is not terrible right now. Oh god, experimental treatment. Okay, our tears dropped way down, but our damage looks like it's a lot better. Another relax pill. Relax. I fail to see how this is just a bad pill, because really the poop can be good for something. Health up, nice. And another 48 hour energy. Don't think I want to shuffle these stats right now. Maybe I should just like, try to build up my tears organically through uh, items or even tears up pills if there are any because right now I don't feel confident that if I just use the d8 again I might just see like a severe drop to my tears or a severe drop to my damage but I may have no choice in the matter if we're being completely honest with ourselves but I don't want to use this 48 hour energy pill yet yeah, we're not doing too strong right now. So I think we will use the D8. Okay, it's a little... better. It's not good enough, but it's something. We definitely need some damage ups and tears ups. Wow! That was the worst dodge in the world right there. How could I have tanked this any further? Okay, all those leeches are dead, but now we got a big problem. Well, all this... This poor popcorn 
freaks are dead. And now it's just a bunch of these guys! Almost dodged diagonally like an idiot. We gotta do this again. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I think we got our stats the way we want. We don't want to use the D8 ever again. For this run, at least. This is the first time I heard the caves music like this, or flooded caves music like this. That's because we're never in there this long. Okay, we're gonna live. Well, we're definitely gonna live. We got like, what, 10 heart containers within the second floor. Because we grab a health up pill and the body. That alone really helps. Uh, Black Candle's nice, but not nice enough. There's a cube of meat. Should probably take it for extra orbital defense. Still not going to use that 48 hour energy pill yet, because I might get an active item in our deal with the devil slash angel. Something that I might want to use, like maybe the nail or something, or a satanic bible. That could actually make a world of difference for us. Let's see if I can blow you up next to the mushroom. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. That's fine. I feel like the uh, dog in the burning house right now is going, This is fine. This is literally me right now. I only got like 8 cents on like the second floor. And the only thing I really bought of any substance was cube of meat. Next thing I might have to buy is a key. That's how sad this run has gotten. Did I ever pick up a single bomb on this run yet? No, I haven't. Haven't saw a need to do so right now. Maybe a key and a tarot card would be nice. Because that is a player card there. There's two of diamonds, that'll help. Even if I don't get blank card. You tend to have these slow burn runs as Maggie. I don't know why that she's so predisposed to have those types of runs. That's a two of clubs. Well, there's your bombs right there. That you had to work so hard for to earn. Hopefully I can get to both of these. Yes, I can. Good. That saved me a little bit of money. So let's blow this. These guys up. We got a nickel back. Featuring Chad Kroger, except not really. <laughs> Can I just get an active item to replace the D8? Because it's just taunting me in the face right now. You know, with its 8 and 7 looking at me. At least I think that's a 7. You, you know, you just look at the icon. And it could be a 1, for all I care. I've seen many a 1 kind of look like a 7. The way it's like wrote down. And it just throws you off. Sometimes I've seen fours look like sevens. Like, make up your mind what you want it to be. You're trying to throw me off here. That's like those same people that write lowercase L's and ones. Or uppercase I's. And they draw them the exact same way. Like, no distinction between them. Like, come on. Like, what are you trying to do here? Sending these mixed signals in writing. That's ridiculous. Stop it. Also, how the hell are both of these little horns still alive? Okay, I think that bomb blew up right next to you, and you did not take any damage from it. I call BS. Oh, guys, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, we still got devil deals. I'm happy for that. But none of them have items. Oh, thank you for teleporting me so I don't have to fight the spiders. That, that's real convenient. Thanks. Not like I really wanted to earn anything. <sighs> the only damage ups we've gotten is from using the experimental treatment and the D8 constantly. None of this came from any items. The only items we got that boosted our stats for like HP ups. And speaking of which, there's another one right there. Okay, we got a boost to our tears now, which is nice. It's acceptable. 
two extra bombs is also acceptable, because now I can get to this jabroni right here. Oh, the D8, wow. Trade in one dice for another. I don't think I want to do that. So I'm actually going to re-roll this. Oh, wow! <laughs> I passed up the uh, D4 and all the uh, for me the D100. Huh? Much preach, game. Much preach. Um, car battery might be nice, but I think I'm going to blow this guy up. No. Um, I kind of want to see more active items, so I'm actually not going to take that trinket. Look, I'm not going to be using the D8 anyway, so why would I want to keep it? Like, the D4 could have given me some potential, but look, I'd probably be losing quite a bit in terms of my stats. Like, I like having the ability to shoot faster. Offensive-wise, I'm fine. It's not terrible, but it could have been... It'd be better, but it could be a lot worse, too. Like, for this stage in the game, it's par for where I want it to be. Well, kind of more than par. I'd have to get closer, which is a downside. But that was because of that uh, range down pill. Oh, God. Wow! All that dodging and one still managed to get me. Don't think I want Thunder Thighs, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this ain't good either. D12 does nothing for me. Uh, I don't think the Coat Hanger does either. Oh, well, we got no choice now. I guess we gotta take a range up. And then there's Stem Cells. Wow, fantastic. I definitely don't want Little Baggy. I prefer cards over pills any day of the week. I guess we just don't take anything else. We're, we're stuck with a D8 just a little bit longer. But I did get a range up. I, I was suffering for range. So getting that taken care of is nice. I'm going against Champion Hus, which is no big deal. Neither of these guys. All right, now I just gotta fight the Forsaken now. Oh, you're gonna go this way. All right, that's fine. It's acceptable, because you will still die. There we go, now let's do this. I would like to have a deal with a devil that actually has items in it that I can give up health for, because I don't need 11 red heart containers after like the third floor. It's a bit excessive. Doesn't give me much freedom for like soul hearts or black hearts, which could be a little bit more useful than all red heart containers. Red heart containers are great for, you know, taking deals with the devil, but what are they good at it? Good of them if you don't get any. Watch now the next one's gonna have Krampus in it. If we're even still getting devil deals. Deals with the Angel would be a lot more awesome if you can actually give up a Red Heart container in exchange for, like, a changing the item that's there. Or, maybe getting a second item pedestal. And it could just be a random Angel item, even Breath of Life or Holy Water for all I care, but to have that option would be cool. You know, make Deals with the Angel suck a little less. Wow, we actually got an item out of that. Usually they just give you jack shit. I should probably buy a key before I go. Yeah, I find there's, all, there's always keys there. I think it's very rare that you never see a key in the shop. So, DPS is pretty good. And we got some extra support fire, so I'm not going to complain about that. Tech X, uh, fine. Blood Clot is pretty good too god I shoot so fast oh yes growth hormones I love you you know what I would not mind taking placebo because 48 hour energy could be not well what's the point of having 48 hour energy well 
Maybe if you just get like a whole bunch of batteries and then just, I don't know, do whatever you want with it. You could probably just use placebo for the sake of just trying to get as many batteries as possible. But I imagine placebo with 48 hour energy would almost feel like an infinite loop. That may not be such a bad idea. We just get a shit ton of batteries lying around. And then if there's an active item you like, the more you use it, the better it becomes. That might actually work to our advantage. We can try it once we can afford placebo, of course. I just wonder how that combo will actually benefit us. If not on this floor, maybe in the next one. Whoa, I did not even see anything hit me there. Was it creep I stood on, or I don't know. Please leave me alone. Oh, wow, knocked him right into me. Good job. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Actually, I feel like my commentary nowadays is mostly my brain on drugs. Ha ha ha! Okay. Just eliminate these jabronis and you're good to go. Okay, we should consider taking placebo right now. BFF could also be very good. I just wanted to take that red heart because I was suffering a little. Yeah, that's better. Get use of another bomb. Thank you. Forty-eight hour energy. Hmm. Oh, okay. It doesn't really do much for ya. I just wait till we get a better pill. I don't even know if there are even any in this rotation to begin with. Like, if there's a Tears up, that's pretty good. But I was done with the D D8 anyway, so I guess I don't feel so bad about taking placebo. I thought I would get a little bit more practicality over it, so it does not work the way I'd want it to. That's okay. Maybe if I had car battery, it might just give me two of these. But I did not take the car battery. So we can forget about that. Unless it shows up again in another shop. Okay, I hate when Stain does that. Oh god, I think I put myself in a bad position. Oh, Skolax got me on the bank shot. I think one of the Stains is dead. Wish I had sonar. Oh, okay, finally. Skull X by itself is not a problem. Only if it doesn't want you to hit him. Which it does. This is fine. Because I can get some money out of this. Now. Do I want to like buy anything else? Probably just a key and that's it. Yeah, we're good. Game feels like it's getting choppy for some reason. I don't know if it's going on with the frame rate, but it's okay. I mean, it's still playable. It's probably just based on the area I'm currently in. Mom's wig, I'm sure. Got the mom transformation. Uh, I'm not going to take breakfast, because then I won't be able to do anything with that that soul heart I have there. Okay, if anything, meat's good. I like meat. Oh, okay, because it the soul heart was automatically gone, I still get the benefit from the gold heart. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Well, there's no reason not to do that. So we'll just waste a bomb just to get ourselves a little bit more health. 
Wish I had another key there, by the way, but oh well. I think we can blow this up, too. That did not benefit us in any way. Oh, wow! I could not pick the a worst spot to be in. Let's try to get as much batteries on the ground as possible. That might be the best thing going for us right now. <laughs> Whoa, that was many spiders that was created out of that. If I'm gonna create as many, many batteries as possible, I might be able to make some use out of them. Maybe. But either way, I don't think 48 hour energy is great with placebo. Unless you have maybe car battery, that could work. But until we know for sure, not exactly the best thing to do. Because it does nothing. What could I really use? Like maybe a range up or a lock up? Not lock up, tears up. Balls of steel if I had less red art containers, I don't know. There are other ways I can go about this. But right now, what I have is not great. I can see why some people prefer blank card over uh, placebo. Ah, circle of protection, thank you. That is helpful. Depending on what I want to do with it. There's no reroll machine, so there's no sense in not trying to get some pills. I guess I'll take Mr. Dolly. PJ's does nothing for me. We should probably give up with on the placebo because it's not doing anything for us. We'll just take the jar of flies. There, now we have a lot more red art containers to work with. Oh, we'll just buy one more key because there was a gold chest in there. Justice. That's actually pretty good. I like that. 40 hour energy obviously does not work with the uh, jar of flies. It needs the blood of my enemies, not batteries. So ask and you shall receive. Ooh, four bombs. Thank you. There's a rune over there. And another demon judgment. Be good to me, dude. Rusty key will do nothing for me. Magician. And that's two of diamonds. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god, blank card is here too. There's no batteries, unfortunately. But this is still fine. That's full health. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on to that for later. Is that range down? Yeah, it's range down. I don't want that. Isaac's head is kind of better than Rusty Key at this point. The left hand, yeah, for those devil deals I'm not getting. Thanks. And Gimpy. Okay, that was awesome. We'll save full health for later. Just gotta remember to use it when we're in a near fatal situation. So try your best not to forget that. You can still find yourself fucked in some way. Where am I creating these spiders, anyway? How do I create those? Oh, Mom's wig! That's right! There we go! This... Now we're cooking with a lot of gas! I don't know why Hank Hill calls Butane the Bastard's Gas or something. Well, he is, like, a big fan of propane. Can't imagine him working with Butane or Charcoal. <laughs> lose his mind. Well, this is our time to uh, break the whole run again. Unless there's no batteries and it's kind of pointless. Two of diamonds. Should probably blow this up for extra leverage. Now, batteries. Batteries. Well, there's a PhD. Ugh, relax. Really? Well, we'll blow this up, too. That's Alges. Well, blank card Alges is also pretty good, if you're done with two of diamonds. Take this 
range up. We'll just pop relax right here. Oh yeah, because I had the knife behind me, I was able to do that. That's cool. No batteries. Batteries! Yay! Two. Time to break this whole run again. Well, we are trying to get Holy Mantle on the loss, so we might as well just go balls deep. We don't have chaos. So that's fine. We'll just use the D8 right here to change these rocks around. That was not spectacular in any way whatsoever. I'm seeing a lot of active items for some strange reason. Some of them are actually pretty good. There's no steam sale either. Two. Maybe it's better to go this route without having chaos. Charge baby is obviously nice. Pandora's box could be good. Hey, extra money, thanks. Much appreci. And then, of course, we'll obviously, well, I think we'll get X-ray vision. Try not to get a little baggy, because that did not work out well for you last time. Oh, not mom's box. Get the hive mind. Should double up again. Take another HP upgrade. Take Latch Key, as if it does anything for us. Raw Liver, I believe, is a range down, but an HP up, so I'll take it anyway. Two of diamonds. Remember, we got PhD, so we can't lose from the caffeine pill. Take the blue map. Fine, we'll take pay to play, even though it does nothing for us right now. Fanny pack. Don't use the D20. I learned that lesson from last time. Unless I'm still holding two of diamonds, and that's acceptable. Yeah. We'll just take straight HP. Take Jesus Juice. Take the screw. Double two up again. Of diamonds. Take Speedball. Oh, we got Spun. Oh, wow. 48 hour energy. Imagine if I had, like, the ability to hold two of diamonds and 48 hour energy at the same time. This would be so great. But we can't. So we have to live with it. Oh, this is so good. Oh, wait. We're already ch fully charged. That's right. Ha! <laughs> Fun guy transformation. The halo. Why not? Ha! <laughs> Roid rage. I'm too afraid to shoot. Because I'm afraid that it's just going to be completely out of control. If it's not then, it is now, because Synth Oil just showed up. Mom's Key does nothing. Matchbook is just for extra bombs, really. That's all it's for. Take Rotten Baby. <laughs> Infamy. Sack of Pennies, sure. Explosivo, I don't really feel good about. Our shot height is actually pretty high. Sure, we'll take Spider Mod. And the 9 volt, that's awesome. Maybe car battery will show up again. This could be another great opportunity for us. Mom's purse, that's cool. So I guess we'll use Mom's box once. We got the lazy worm with Isaac's head. Might be able to do something good with it. Two of diamonds. But I doubt it. Take the battery. Oh my god, we can just re-roll all of this right here. So I think we want as many active ops as possible. The D6. The champion belt. We got starter deck. Little baggy showed up, god damn it. We'll just get that out of the way, I suppose. I uh, suppose we'll take Explosivo. And the homing bombs. <laughs> we'll just take everything that shows up. Eden's blessing, so we'll get an extra item on the next run. Chemical peel. I feel like taking advantage of the shots is a little bit better without chaos. Because with chaos, most of what you were getting was breakfast anyway. And it just wasn't fun. So 
So I think we should just pass up Chaos whenever it shows up. Mom's eye that does little for us, but we'll take it anyway. Scapular is actually a little bit worse. Ugh, magic fingers. Little low key. And Spider Baby. Oh, SMB Super Fan is here too. Spelunker hat is pointless because we got X ray vision anyway. Midas Touch! And Libra. Will this make our damage worse? Actually, no. It seems a little negligible at this point. Uh, I guess we'll take Guillotine. And Turdy Touch. Like, Guillotine cannot screw us up to the point that we're gonna die. We're already way too strong. Uh, undefined. I'm too afraid that if I use the D6 that we're going to lose blank cards, so... I think what we're just going to do is I think we're just going to tap out right now. There's a 7 cent BFF. Oh, there's car battery! We're good! That's chaos. I think this is where we stop. So, our damage is pretty solid right now. There is a chance we can get hit quite a lot. Because of, you know, Guillotine. Guillotine always has that way of really screwing things. But I think having, like, two full charges of, like, blank card is pretty good. Maybe taking Libra was a bad choice. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. Time for you to die. Oh, Immaculate Conception. <laughs> As if it really matters right now. Okay. Our last secret room. Oh, more money. To be honest, I don't want any more luck upgrades. Because that could screw us over. Curse of Darkness does not bother me at all. Oh, now we get the Steam Sale. A little too late for that. And Ultra Greed will meet his maker. Like he usually does. Not as fast as I'd like him to. But at least Explosivo will do a nice number on him. Okay, that's the one thing I'm worried about. Oh, that's right. He, with Midas Touch, he'll just turn gold. It's kind of hard to steer things going on because of the guillotine. That I still gotta worry about. Remember, keys you kill. Everything else is just a non-issue. Except these bombs over here. Make sure he does not get this shit. Let the other enemies be damned. Okay, that's just standard coins. Oh, this could be the run. I'm really liking this run here. It was starting off really slow, and then just as soon as Blank Card and Two of Diamonds show up in almost like, what, the exact same floor, everything just broke apart as per usual. Like, this is just the MO now. I feel so glad that we didn't really have to try to break the run just to get achievements. Now we're just doing this for progress. Oh, there's another battery over here! Thank you, Charge Baby, for uh, helping me out a little bit. Remember, we can have up to like three charges of blank card on just this one run. This could be incredible. 
864 cents right now. Oh, that cabin rate is already pretty high. Eight seventy-five, eight seventy-six, eight seventy-seven. Okay, we got Holy Mantle on the loss now. So we can try pushing for those Mega Satan runs. Oh! There was so much potential right there. I had what? Like three charges of blank card ready for two of diamonds? And we couldn't even get through what? 17 cents? I consider that pretty lame. But at the end of the day, at least we made a shit ton of progress. So, I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next episode, I say we're going to go back to try to beat Mega Satan as the loss, now that we got this newfound, uh, wealth. See ya, everybody.